Always walk on the strongest part of a bridge. Always walk on the strongest part of a bridge. If the bridge seems jolly rotten, an architect may have forgotten to do live loads and calculate some things. When the bridge begins to creak, you may let out a shriek. But remember one important thing. And always walk on the strongest part of the bridge. Come on. Always walk on the strongest part of the bridge. Yes, hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Poly Bridge 2. Uh, last time we started on Gleam Town. We've done the first level, so let's get on to the second. These are the bonus levels that came in a recent update. And this one is called Seesaw. So what have we got? We have a balloon in the middle. We've then got... Oh no, we've got we got hydraulics. we got a hydraulic controller. Oh poo. I hate hydraulics. Anyway, so what we got to do? We've got to get A over to there. Okay, so that's easy. We can do that straight on over. There's only eight roads. There's only eight roads. Does eight roads get me over there? Okay, so all of our roads does actually get us there. So that's good. Um, oh, look at this. This is actually quite simple, I think. Let's not go too far, Matt. Let's not call it simple. But what I need to do is simple. I just need to rotate about the middle. So we end up like that and then rotate like that. There's only there's only two hydraulic phases. There's only two hydraulic phases. Okay, so first things first then. We need to make every one of these anchors a joint so we can attach and detach as required. Uh, we then probably want to actually just like truss this thing up. So we'll just do a load of that and then that should be a bridge that should actually work. Uh, if we then grab a piece of rope and attach that in the middle then right we've got the limo going across that should be fine. These joints at either end should detach and then we can see if the rope will hold. Oh it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. So yeah I just wanted to know if the rope holding that would be strong enough which unfortunately it isn't so perhaps you want to make these triangles bigger because a bigger triangle in a truss makes the entire truss stronger so if we watch this with the stress on once the limo gets the edge and these detached we should see yeah look at that look at that so that worked which means now what we need to do is is the hard bit which is moving the bridge okay so what we need to do shove a hydraulic under there right lock that node in so it won't disappear and then expand so then once the limit gets the end that should go up yes oh Oh, that's not bad. Although I did the wrong one. Why did I go for the blue car? I'm sorry, truck. So that will be that will be phase two, I guess. So phase one is literally just copying this to the other side. Uh, the only thing I've noticed, because we're only hanging by one node, there is there is movement there. I feel like we need to do like a crisscross or something. Unless we get lucky and that locks in place. No, it doesn't. So I don't think this guy is going to drive on that note. So rather than that, if we do a rope like across there and then like over to that one, that should hold it in place, I think. So when this moves, I forgot to lock them in. Quickly just lock each one in. So when this moves now, we shouldn't get the side to side movement there. Yeah, can you see that's perfectly balanced about the middle? So now that locks in, which means it's a lot stronger. So this guy can get up easily. Stress is Oh, stress is strong, but we're fine. So he's up there. And now we just need to move. Just need to move this down. Oh, man. Moving it down is going to be hard. Basically, I think if we if we just draw this in wood for now. So we know that's where our two pieces of road are going to end up. So if we copy that and rotate. So that's sort of where the truss is going to be. So we need to go from up there down to here. Oh, how do I do that? How do I do that? I don't even know if it's possible. I was thinking of like... I can reach to there. So if I just delete all those. Oh no, actually leave that. Leave that. Let's lock lock that in. Lock that in. So if we make that a joint and that a joint. If we use a hydraulic control to say in the first phase, don't detach, don't detach, don't detach, don't detach. So I think we do something like that. Everything in yellow will work in the first phase. And then in the second phase, the bridge will be up here. So we want that to detach. Will those two be locked together? I don't know, we don't want that one to detach. That one doesn't do anything. We then, we do want that to detach. We don't want that to go. So basically the thought is as this rotates up, this node here should end up where that hydraulic is. Oh, I did it the wrong way. It goes the other way, Matt, you knob. <laughs> it goes the other way. Although that's not going to work because essentially I've just made what I've got there. 
And we know that that, comes, that just comes back down. Yeah, you, you can't do it this way. Okay, we can't do it with hydraulics underneath. I'm pretty sure that is a thing. What we're going to have to do... Maybe that's what the balloon's for. We do hydraulics from above. So if I hydraulic down to there, I can bring one side up. And then I can only push it back to the same point. Unless... Unless we do what we what we learnt before, we have two hydraulics. So if we if we do like a node a node about the middle, I'm thinking over to there. So I've just I've just made a node there essentially. So we do hydraulic hydraulic. And I think we want one set to expand for later on, and then the other one set to contract. But then in the hydraulic controller, only one goes. And then on the second time both go. Okay, hang on. I've just realised I've done the wrong one. I've done the wrong way around. So that one contracts. That one expands. There we go. See, I even saw what was wrong before it even happened. So that should... Couldn't... Oh, balls. What if we go over to there instead? Is that like... Is that stronger? So yes, yes, yes. Okay. Oh, oh, that nearly worked. Although it broke. So just contract a little bit less. We'll make these trusses bigger because they broke for some reason. All right. So then I can just use some simple trigonometry to make sure these stop in the right place. I definitely... Oh, I'm an idiot. Every time, go to the bottom. Why do I always want to pick up the blue car first? Okay, so first phase, we want that one to go, but not the bottom one. And then second phase, we want them both to go. Okay, got it. Got it. How do I even get this to stop in the right spot? Like, what? Can you actually math this? Is that even possible? I don't think it's possible. Right, we're just tweaking this expansion thing. I feel like it might be 42%. Because I feel like everything's the answer is 42, right? I'm sure I've heard that somewhere before. So where does 42 get us? Oh, get us locked in there. We're not locked in at the top. This probably is going to do that. Yep, thought so. Oh, I nearly made it down there, though. Okay, so I think we have a bit of bow in our bridge. So I've just made that expand a little bit more. Oh, that's annoying. The rope snapped. Anyway, after a little bit of tweaking, they should both lock in now. Yes, nice. So let's just turn the stress on. So, oh, oh dear. Oh boy, that was not, that was not good. Uh, how can I make these stronger? I guess I could cable them. I'm also thinking, could I just like hang another one from the middle? Because that's probably cheaper than swapping. Let's see. So that's just over 20,000. If I swap both of those with cable, yeah, that's 21,000. Okay, let's try and, we'll try and do this with just rope. So now when that locks in, is it strong? Oh, is that stronger? I think that's way stronger. It broke before that, right? Yes, okay, right. Stress off. So now we just need both of these to contract. I think I think I've got to unlock those. Oops. So yeah, hydraulic controller. Unlock, please. Unlock, please. Okay, so now this should move up and hopefully go close to the top. Oh, it goes, it goes too far. Okay. Um, oh, I can get rid of that joint as well, by the way. That'll be a bit lighter. So what I'm doing here then, this top one, that does the first phase of the movement. So that sets 42%. So this bottom one, I just need to lower that. You know what? It could be 4 42. We're 42 quid as well. There's a lot of 42 age going on. Was it for a reason? Will it stop in the... Oh, balls. Okay, well, yeah, I'm just tweaking this one now until it stops in the right place, essentially. All right, so here we go. Is that good? Yes, that's good. Oh, it's not good. It broke. Okay, I think it broke because it was like slightly in the wrong place, if that makes sense. So it's being like pulled when it's locked in. So a very small extra tweak has done it. And that is all three vehicles to the places they want to be. I did a hydraulic level. How good? Oh, top 16%. We're in the top 100. The top five people all did the exact same price. What? How is that even possible? I don't actually know. Let's have a look in the gallery at how they did it. I'm not I'm not making this one any cheaper than it needs to be. We're 20,042. I'm finding that. Oh, the 11,000 ones aren't on there. They all did exactly the same price. So that is crazy. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Oh, what? They did it. What? How? How did they do a hydraulic underneath? Oh, it falls. It uses gravity. No way. <laughs> Can you see the truss is staggered? So I think they're staggered. So the all the nodes lean slightly to the right, which means, yeah, there's a little dangly weight there as well. So this side's slightly heavier. Or it's not heavy. It's just the weight slightly shifted to the right-hand side. Oh, that was clever. Uh, this one. Oh, that's just mine. But they've gone super cheap with it. Really small hydraulics. Uh, and they've used wooden rope as well, which is cheaper than actual rope. Fair play. I'm seeing quite a few of these. How did they... I don't even understand. Okay, so they use hydraulics to get it up like that. Do they use gravity as well? Oh, that one. Oh, look. Oh, <laughs> it did the step down. If you lose that end of the bridge, it can just step down and get across. Didn't even occur to me in the slightest that. All right, well, let's go to the last page and see how people with budget did this. I mean, we're pretty early with the nifty sponsored solution. It uses very efficient engineering to allow you to get from the bottom to the top as you slurp on your cuppa of nifty. Uh, what, what is... 
What is this? Oh, look, it's my name. RCE, RCE, RCE. Oh, 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 what happened to my name? Uh, what is going on here? What is that in the middle? It's like on fire. So we got like a burning chain holding everything up. And then is that one efficient shape? And then as it moves to the other side, <laughs> they expand. So what actually happens with the car? Okay, so the car does actually just drop down, does a forward roll. Okay, seems like quite a lot of people did that solution. I mean, not necessarily with the strongest shape, although quite a few people did, it seems. Um, oh, what is this one? What is that? Oh, is this, this could be the making of the fiery chain. I mean, or or they're just tentacles. Uh, we've got this one, which looks an absolute mess. I am not gonna, I don't, what? I don't understand why. What is all that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's to, it's to get the nodes. Okay, so they built all this just so they can have those nodes to get the hydraulic all the way up. Ah, okay, that makes sense. That does actually make sense. Uh, this one, Dollar Tree customer service uses lots of... Oh, I was going to say lots of like geometric shapes, like right angles, 45 degrees, but then just absolute throws all out the window when the hydraulics get involved. A bit like me when the hydraulics get involved, really. Although, quite proud of myself on this level, not gonna lie. Uh, so this one's expensive, I think, mainly because they just did a all-steel bridge. It's quite a quite a nifty solution. I mean, it's, it's not a nifty solution, but it is a nifty solution, if that makes sense. Uh, we've then, oh, is that an engineer? That might be an engineer. Actually, it doesn't look like an engineer. It might be. That could be a hard hat. And then their body, it looks like a spin top. I'm going I'm to call that an engineer anyway. Cheers, Fade13. Uh, we've then, what is going on there? Oh, no way. No way. No way. <laughs> oh, did you see that? That's actually incredible. Dusty, that's so cool. <laughs> it just craned them all across. Don't build a bridge, build a crane. Uh, what is this one? So we've got a strong dang. Oh, is it peeing? It might be peeing. If it burns, you may need to go to a doctor. That's all I'm saying. All right, so this one, I feel like this one might do it how I sort of originally intended, where it uses other hydraulics that are sort of waiting for the bridge to be caught. And then is it going to like drop those hydraulics? So if these, yeah, these fall down and then the other two hydraulics do the other bit of the work. Ah, oh, so it was possible how I first thought. There's just no chance I would have been able to do it. Right, anyway, on to the next level, stunt doubles. So, oh, we've got these cars. we got the rally cars and um, we've got stars. Okay, so you've got to go down into that star and then end up under there. You've got to go above. Do you both go at the same time? Yes, you do. Okay. We've only got 22 bits of road. That seems like quite a lot of road. Why is there that limit? Not sure. Um, but what I'm thinking, I probably need to refill that in with road. And then what I'm thinking is if we do like a bit of a jump here, but sort of not enough jump that the first car jumps, if that makes sense. So what I'm hoping this first car will fall down to there. Nice. And um, it did, it did get stuck duck so we may need we may need i don't know like a bit of road with like a spring underneath or something so if that lands on that bit of road oh nearly all right solid we'll do that so if that works for that car okay that's good so then we can just make this a bridge pretty easily i think if we just go over there over there over there and then under there so that is a bridge which might hold this car the trouble is the top one is landing on top of it so we need to catch that higher up so what i'm thinking we build up here then that's our next bit of road and then if we do like a sort of another jump, we might be able to land up there. So of course we will do this all in wood. And then if we can just connect those together, that should stop. I mean, it stops a bit of movement, not enough. It's actually way too high as well. So we'll lower that. Can I get the diagonal in? I can almost get the, di the diagonal in. Yeah, that's all we need. So if we then make that a spring, that might catch the car on top. Oh man, it's so much movement. I mean, this is breaking anyway. Let's just make that steel for now. Oh, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. That was actually way higher than I thought it was going to be. Now this ramp doesn't break. Oh yeah, did you see that? Okay. So if we add another bit of another bit of ramp, can we launch this second car further up? Okay, so yes in a word. I think we just need a little bit of road under there like that, perhaps. So maybe that will catch it. That probably won't be strong enough. We probably need some springs and stuff. But let's see. Oh. <laughs> okay, well at least that bridge that bridge holds the other car. We just need this to be strong enough. So yeah, I am I am literally thinking just just spring it. So as that car lands on there, oh, it's so much force. What if we do that? We sort of made like a road muscle diamond thing. That should be fairly strong, if I'm honest. So, oh yeah, it is. It is. We did it. Oh, we did it. Top 16 again. And the top people will have the exact same price. No, they don't. The second do. Minecat stole the top one. Fair play. Now, I feel like we can definitely make this cheaper because do those actually need to be... Yeah, I don't know if you saw that, but that didn't need to be... 
deal. So that's good. We can then lower that one. Make this muscle smaller. Perhaps lower that as well. Uh, can I make these smaller? Anyway, in terms of this, if we move that down, that makes it a little bit cheaper. Because the spring costs more than the other bits. So that's all right. We move that. That's going to be a lot weaker, actually. I'm not... Yeah, I can probably swap that with a muscle. Not made out of steel. Made out of that. In fact, yeah, so made out of wood rather than steel. So that's a few hundred quid cheaper. We can then shorten this, no doubt. And maybe shorten that. Oh, we can... Can we lower it? Let's see if we can lower it. Oh, no. No, definitely not. And what about down here? If we make that small and then if we compress it, that should ping so it goes longer. So if we press play on this now, yeah, boings. Oh, it's actually... That's completely... F oh, actually, what... That was fine. What? Do I need a spring? Oh, I don't even need a spring. Do I need that bit of road? Oh, okay. So it's trapped. So we do need, we need a little bit of road. I think though I can just, if I just wedge it in there, is that good enough? Oh, it broke. It broke. Anyway, we've done quite a bit of tweaking. 18,413 quid. We're now in the top 9%. We're 49th in the world. Let's have a look in the gallery. So the cheapest solution is, what is that? Oh, they just did a, they just did a double bridge. Although they had a lot of patience. So there's a tiny bit of road there that sort of moves this car. <laughs> what? How did you come up with that? But yeah, seems like nearly everyone did like a double sort of bridge. So yeah, almost no one did a ramp in the middle. Although, oh, this one, this one does with spring. That's a lot of spring, but somehow way cheaper than mine. Anyway, my favorite page, the final page. Nothing's going on. What? Huh? <laughs> I think as that's modded, they may have fiddled with the gravity a little bit. This one, I'm genuinely Arsene Oglin Powerfly Special. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my brain is just like... So they used a series of weights and things to make this move. So it moves down and then it moves up. Yeah, each car goes to the side. I assume they stopped the car from going as well because they did go at like the same time usually. Oh man, that was way too complicated. I need to see some proper engineering. Yeah, that's better. That's be That's more easy to understand for my engineering brain. So clearly we've got these in the background that helped with the magnetic field of the earth and that allows the cars to get across that gap easier. Yep, that works. Uh, this one just uses like efficient bridge design. That's just to make this strong so it doesn't break. Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. I'll let RC at the end as well. Uh, this, what, what is that underneath? Why, ow, it's so bright. It's so bright. <laughs> Why are people loving the flames? This one, trust me. Wow, wow, they like trusses. And you know what? It's the Nifty Sponsored Solution. Remember to pick up your Nifty when buying a Trust Me t-shirt from my merch store, realcevilengineer.com. Nifty may not be available in your local area. All right, okay, and let's go on to the next the next step. What is going on? It's stuck in the middle. It's literally stuck in the middle. Stuck in the middle with you. Oh, that's a song I could do. On... All right, I'm going to write that one down. I'll write that one down. How are we going to do that? Why is, why is there a ramp over there? I don't know why there's a ramp over there. Uh, but we've got to get this guy under there and then back up. What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I do have an idea of how to get this up. Let's just put it that way. So we're going to use springs, of course. So if we put springs over there, put road on them, and then try and get them as close to like under there as possible. We can then just make these compressed springs because then, boosh, oh, it flings up, whoa, high. Okay, maybe we don't need 100% compression. What if we just try like a little bit? Okay, so I've got this. I've just attached that to that node just to see. Yes. Okay, so that will that will actually work. If I just make a bridge from there, I don't actually need to attach that. But if I, oh, if we just go down here. We've got to make sure we we have enough head clearance to get under there. It's quite a big vehicle, actually. We may need to come back a bit. So if we do something like that, I feel like we're probably going to need a, a bit of a gap there. So I'll put a spring in. For these, I'm just going to just dangle some steel like that. Then I think we'll just put a bit of a truss in so this doesn't move. There is a bit of a bridge. Is it going to be strong enough? It should be strong enough. Oh, I was. Oh, man. There was so much movement there. Okay. I can't actually get that closer. Although, could I shift any of these to the right. I can shift them all a little bit. Okay, we'll, we'll just give ourselves some room. And I've just added a wall brace on that side as well. That might give us a bit more strength. Oh no, shifting everything means we're still stuck. Oh poo. Okay, what if I give that a bit more compression? Too much. All right, okay, that's good. That is good. Oh, there's so much speed. It goes too fast. Okay, I'll tell you what, I think, I think what we actually want to do, I think we want to detach these and have a bit of movement in our bridge. If we attach that there, and then we can perhaps bring like, no, they need, they need to be attached. I know. What if I, what if I spring, I should probably just spring all of this. So yeah, rather than using 
steel, I should probably just spring it, right? Anyway, I think I may need to truss this up just to make it a bit stronger. We keep breaking that. Oh, it's just it's so much speed. What if we attach this to everything so it's now rigid? Is that better? Oh, not at all. Not at all. I either embrace movement or I try and restrict it. I'm never sure what is the best solution. I mean, in real life, you must never try and restrict movement. You need... Oh, goodness. Bridges need to move to be strong. So I'm... Wait, Matt, you're meant to use your real life knowledge. That's the whole point of why people watch your channel, you knob. I mean, springs are cheaper than steel as well. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's make this springy then. Oh, it's actually, it's working way better. <laughs> it's working way better. Oh, that didn't work better. I'm yeah, pretty sure we can probably just spring this entire thing up, mate. Maybe a little bit too flexible now. But look at the money we're saving. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, well, now we've got a lot of... Out. A lot of movement. I mean, I would sort of tie that end, but I don't think that's what we want to do. I feel like that's too expensive. So let's just attach those together. And no, stop flinging it so much, man. Okay, what if we get rid of that? Does this first bit work? Sort of. I feel like we could actually catch this. So if instead we brought this road and like attached it to down there, is that better? So we are actually intentionally catching it now. <laughs> Is this engineering? I'm not convinced I'm still engineering. Let's speed up the time and then... Oh, it landed on its wheels. Okay, just get across. Just get across. We did it. I think we did it. Oh, it's never getting up there. Okay, that is a slight issue. With this though, we can probably make this one like way cheaper just by doing that. I don't know why I'm trying to make this cheap already. Oh no, changing something down here. Affected up there. Damn butterfly effect. Okay, so I just made that spring there have a bit of compression so it shouldn't go as steep. Oh, so close. So close. I'll tell you what, actually. What if we just put like a bit of a wall brace underneath? Because that will that will limit the angle of this, which might mean we can get up. Oh, no. That, now the first bit's too steep. Okay, what about that? So this first bit should be unaffected. So that goes down like that. Oh, oh. Okay, that's fine. That, wait, what? Fire truck A went underwater. No, it didn't. Where did it go underwater? That's underwater. What are you on about, game? The front's fine. Oh, so the back wheel goes... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, I fixed it. I fixed it, I think. Are we stuck? No, we're good. We're good. That went under... This game's telling porkies, I'll tell you that. Right, well, I've added a bit of road, so now it can't go underwater. So again, with the patience. Right, then we're good. Then can it drive up? No! Okay, so that is too steep. Okay, I've messed up the front now, but it is falling. And it's, it's upside down. All right, is this going to... Oh, you knob. All right, so this one failed. If I move that down slightly, just so there isn't the lump anymore, then this thing falls backwards. Like, what? <laughs> All right, I'm getting annoyed with this now. Come on. Come... Yes. This never made it this far. Yes, we made it. We... No. <laughs> All right, back to the wall brace. All right, please, 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 please please. Yes. Oh, that took so long. That was not engineering any of that. I don't care where I am. It's top 41. Oh, actually top off. I'll take that. I will take that. Let's have a look in the gallery. I did not enjoy that level. How? What? How? How is that? Str I'm sorry. How is that strong enough? How? Under 10 grand. You could have had three of them for the price of mine. It do What? So this is another cheap one. 13 grand. It's just absolute nonsense carnage. This level is not engineering. I'm sorry. See, oh, it does look like you should have used just a little spring cannon rather than all those roads to ping it up. This one is a bit more engineering. Fair enough. And then this one. Oh, look how smooth that is. That's so smooth. How did that not break? I don't understand. All right. First off, the nifty sponsored solution. Sub to RCE, as they say. Uh, then they got a nice little bridge. No movement. So maybe I was wrong to go springs. This one has a lot of springs. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It looks very, very similar to mine. This one. Oh, look at that. Oh, I like it push it forwards. That was cool. Yeah, this one. Ooh, confetti, sort of. Whatever you call those. That was a nice one. Thank you. This one. Oh, a very efficient bridge brace there. You can see to get the wall brace very strong. That's what you want to go with. All right, the next level is called Well Timed. Oh, it's hydraulics. So I think we'll be leaving that there. Peace, love, and bridges. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.